Hello, thank you so much for coming to the Sashiko live streaming. This is Atsushi. And this is the live streaming live streaming where I stitch Sashiko while talking about some Sashiko stories. Uh, it would be great if you could bring some of the stitching project or actually any other project to spend time together. Uh, let me check the... Yep, that's good. And I have an unknown... Ah. I have an uh, I have an announcement first. Uh, I have I plan to have the in-person workshop, in-person Sashiko workshop, in July, uh, the first week. No, it's actually second week of July, July 9th and 10th. I will be in New York area. One is in Dumbo and one is in East Northeast um, New York, Man Manhattan. And I'll be teaching the core of Sashiko stitching, which uh, I pretty much share the most important things about Sashiko. And second workshop, in-person workshop in July is the fourth, last fourth, fourth weekend of July, which is going to be in Berkeley, California, nearby San Francisco. And in this workshop, we will also share the core and essence which is again the most important thing it's not really advanced or basic it's just the core without this workshop i cannot really share any of the sashiko stitching we are practicing so that'd be great if you could consider taking those if you have not that done yet if you take the online class it's the same thing so you don't have to take that and what else Yep, the details are in the description area. Details are description area. So if you are interested in that, please take a look by clicking those links. All right, I will change the uh, camera to the stitching. So that was the in-person workshops announcement. And hello to everybody. Usually I completely forget, usually I completely forget to announce those things. So it was very important for me to keep that in my mind. I brought one topic, why do we Japanese kids, like the, when I was a kid, why do we learn how to clean in our school age? Um, we do learn how to clean the school or what we have. Uh, it is almost mandated, especially in the public school, we all have to clean our rooms by ourselves as a kid. And it's kind of a, this brings a lot of discussion from both sides. Uh, but at the same time, it is important for us to think about why when we learn what Sashiko is. So I will talk about that if there's no specific themes with questions about Sashiko. It's really not significant. It's probably something I would like to mention at some point, but it's really not something I have not really concluded yet. Concluded something I have not concluded with the more concrete story. So I'll just pretty much will be mumbling. Let me start stitching. The whole point of this live streaming is that I will be stitching without any editing, without any edit, without any modification, without any faking. So, I mean, the faking is a little bit of a word, but I don't think it's too much to... Okay. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. It is quite unique to come to think about that. Like, I know how to clean the floor because I have done that so many times in my childhood. And it's kind of a muscle memory. Uh, it, they, you know, many people may think that there is no such a thing as technique or how to to clean the floor, but it. It is, actually. There are some muscle memories to memorize or get used to how to clean. 
and those are something very important to understand how the Japanese culture is uh, passed down including many orderly cultures such as Sashiko as well so I'll talk about that too when you are mending a hole with Sashiko are you using the swatches you made making during live streams or you are getting fresh piece of fabric um it depends it really depends the answer to to, uh, to answer the question when i am mending a hole with a sashiko are you, you I'm, <laughs> while <laughs> in my mending um it really depends but uh, sashiko is not the word for the mending so I try to not to do mending as much as I have to. Of course, because there's a hole, we have to do mending. But I will always think what is the best way to avoid another mending in the future. So the design itself is really not the first thing. But that's, that's one big, big, big misunderstanding of today's world. Sashiko became the word for mending it is not wrong but it's really the Japanese people stitched to avoid that mending so pretty much all of the decision is made based on that and I usually do not mm, it really depends Lily-san, hey listen, last Thursday I was out and couldn't watch your live streaming, so I watched the archive, then I thought about the pronunciation of my L and R sound, and I checked them myself. They were so <laughs> well, it's really difficult for the Japanese people to say L and R. We have a... Um, there's a many ways to kind of overcome that difficulties uh, not only focusing on the tongue position we can uh, focus on the uh, shape of the mouth as well as how to use the throat like this right now I'm kind of using my throat which I do not use uh, when I talk in Japanese that much so um, the sh tongue position is very important uh, the mouth position is very important we I think when we talk when we skip when we speak in English we move our mouth a lot more than we do in Japanese so those are very important but sometimes it, it is kind of important to focus on the sound Hello Leiko-san. Welcome, welcome. I can only pronounce like an L sound. I cannot pronounce the R sound. You know it's just similar to L sound, not the correct L sound. It is very difficult and it requires a lot of practice. But... Yeah, these are... L -l 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 <laughs> I'm not... I'm nowhere to teach that kind of thing because I'm not really that good. But I think I'm good enough to differentiate it. But wow, you can write. <laughs> That's good. Come on, more, more, more. She's Japanese, so it's really important for us to um, sort of find somebody who can also write or speak in English um, and there are quite many Japanese who watch this live streaming even though it is in English they consider this uh, some of the practice session sometimes I guess uh, my English is not that great so I don't I hope they are not really following my mistakes but um, I don't want my voice to be somebody's, somebody extraordinary's voice from Japan. 
but at the same time it's kind of difficult to find somebody who speaks English and listen to what I'm saying <laughs> or willing to talk about it with me so it's very important to respect and it is you know respect it's very respectable work because the fact that she can write that much English is very amazing. Great job and thank you so much for coming and then keep doing that. I was alone at the ho I was alone at home at that time, but I think my behavior was funny. I was repeating strange patterns in a while doing such good stitching. It might be a good idea to do like it might be a Sashiko might be a good practice to practice the language for that matter. Yeah, that's a you can free your brain, you can free your memory system. So you can just use your move your hand and keep memorizing or practicing this pronunciation. It does. In linguistics, the category of sound they are are approx approximate, and those are not <laughs> not notoriously difficult. <laughs> approximate, <laughs> come on, approximate in other languages that aren't English are impossible for me. Whew. Lib library, yeah, there was a there was a word it was very dif difficult library and li librarian no librarist library I forgot that word already sorry <coughs> uh, you know when it comes to the language it's very important to keep thinking about it um, as long as we try to keep practicing that, the language will be there. Like I used to be able to understand a little bit of Hebrew, but now completely gone because I stopped using it. Um, before my daughter was born, I we had a possibility of going moving to Israel together. And, you know, it's very important to be able to speak the language there. So... I was trying to do my best to learn, but now since we decided to live in the U.S. almost, well, not almost, we decided to immigrate to the U.S. And we're getting all the paperwork, so we don't really have to do that. So it's completely gone. In English, we do not distinguish between dark L and regular L, but in garlic, those are ex entirely different sounds that can change. Garlic? No. Ga Gaelic. Gaelic? Sorry. My eyes are getting so bad. I need probably something else. I need more. I need some glasses, new glasses or something. <laughs> I mean, scariest things is you can even totally lose ability to speak your native language. My grandpa's native language was German, and by the time, by the time I learned it, he couldn't even speak it with me anymore yeah we actually go through many bilingual person who became bilingual after the age of probably 18 or 19 after high school we all go through the moment of not being able to speak any of languages i there was the time for me that i could not speak neither languages japanese or english i kind of there's no word coming out <laughs> it's kind of scary.
Well, that night I talked about my Patreon with the, my daughter. The pronunciation was Patron. Patreon. Pat Patreon. Patron. And I explained to her it's probably a pronunciation similar to Patreon. Yeah. Patreon. Pa Patreon. Pat Patreon. <laughs> Your daughter is probably very talented for that. She has a very good ear. So. By looking at my daughter, the best way to learn pronunciation is probably to learn the phonics. Um, therefore, there are many schools in Japan which teaches phonics, as long as I understand. But for adults like us, of course it is very really important to learn phonics, but... Hmm. My English is from, I probably mentioned this for a long time, I mean for many times, but my English are from The Office, the comedy show Office. And a little bit of South Park, but mainly The Office now because I used, you know, I used to watch that all the time. So it really depends on what kind of what is your inf what you are influenced by. So, but I. <laughs> I was lucky enough to be able to come to the U.S. right after the high school. I mean, of course, I did really, I worked hard. I worked really hard. I studied really hard to come to the U.S., but at the same time, I was lucky enough to have that environment. Uh, my parents, my families were wealthy enough to let me do that. I didn't have to work right after the high school. So... But for those who has to stay in Japan, getting English to be able to speak is quite difficult. So that's that is why we have to be very careful to not to sort of ignore. We don't mean to ignore, but we end up with ignoring their voice because of the language barriers. English is that strong right now, so that, that's the whole purpose, that's the whole message behind the sentence that Sashiko introduced in English is not wrong but insufficient, is that they are pretty much cutting and pasting or even forming the Sashiko we can understand as the people who understand English, so they are skimming it, kind of filtering it so that everybody who understands English can understand it. But the because Sashiko was developed in Japan, there are many other stories that cannot be easily translated into other languages. So that would be very, very, very important for me to talk about Sashiko over, um, I mean, over anybody, over anywhere in Japanese, and that's what I do in Japanese live streaming. <laughs> Some people are very strict, more strict than I am. I am not strict for that matter at all. Um, some people say I'm traditional, but in comparison to those Japanese teachers, I'm very much easygoing, or not even easygoing, more like marvelic for that matter. So... Since, you know, they are trying to learn the English to learn how Sashiko is becoming in English, it, I don't think it's too much to ask the other Sashiko teachers, not the practitioners. Like, you don't have to learn Japanese to enjoy Sashiko. Uh, the other Sashiko teacher or some, somebody who teaches Sashiko shares what Sashiko is to learn Japanese. I don't think it's too much to ask. Um, I, I'm hard of hearing, so I can't even hear a lot of sound correctly. I have to learn 
phonics and phonology to learn these sounds. Yeah. Do you read the mouth as well? Probably you do. Since I mainly communicate in text from anyway, most languages I focus on reading and writing and try not to spend a ton of time spending speaking when I won't even speak. Once I, I have a solid base for the language learning to speak and hear, it is much easier. It is. So it, it's really, it, it takes a long time. But this may be a little bit too much state, too too big statement or too strict statement. But it anybody can do it. It's not a talent, in my, it, it's my opinion. But in my opinion, it's not the talent. Anybody can do it. It's just a matter of time, and of course resources, like including the time to study, but. Over the internet right now, you don't really have to spend any money to study. Just you have to invest a lot of time to study the language, which end up with saying that the commitment. If you if one has a commitment to learn the other language, anyone can do it. So. Lily san's daughter still doesn't understand be doshi, be verb, and giving me <laughs> correctly in learning English at school. My daughter is really interesting and incomprehensive. Lily san, Sorry, I, 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 sp I spoke in Japanese. Wow, you can really write. Wow. Well, grammar is very important, but also it kind of catches up. I wish I could teach you, to teach her actually, teach her that, but I can try. But So, yeah, that's the language we're talking about. That's another reason I'm not translating any of my content into another language. Like I have a lot of requests. I receive a lot of requests to translate what I do into Spanish, Portuguese, Russian. What else? Not Chinese or Korean that much, actually. Hmm. Many languages. Oh, French. I'm sorry, French. Um, they offer me they some some people offer to translate for me and that's a very you know generous things for them to do but my point is i know how in how big the interpretation can be over the language so it's really difficult for me to sort of I, I I trust them in terms of language but I want her or him to understand Sashiko as much as I do in both English and Japanese so I kind of ask them to take my Sashiko class or Sashiko workshop first before even translating what I'm sharing uh, there are there were a few people who were bilingual, trilingual, even quadrilingual for that. But I asked them like, can you, you know, sort of consider translating those things? And their answer was that the more I learn, the less I would like to like the the less they com the the less they are confident about it. So I think what I'm sharing is quite sensitive in terms of cultural things so i do not really translate what i am speaking right now from the japanese in fact i don't really talk about this kind of things in japanese i talk really much nothing i'm just you know having fun in japanese so 
It is more like my message about sashiko in English, not translated from Japanese language. And therefore, it's really difficult to have it in another language. I mean, if it's just, you know, broad coverage of sashiko, if it's just the general idea of sashiko, it's really not that difficult. Like, you know, something I uploaded on the YouTube, those are very gen general. It's it's important, but at the same time, it's not so deep. Those can be translated without so much worries, but um, but <laughs> but those things cannot be translated because I don't have a budget for that. I mean, how do I get budget for that? And also, YouTube can translate it. Google can translate the subtitles, so it's you know doesn't have to be that much commitment so let's see I really well it doesn't really I'm not in a hurry about that I think it's not it will be easier to do the same thing in other language once I can do it in English so I'm not that worried about it I always use dictionary to search for words so I can write English but I can't speak that's very much Japanese like and but I really respect that I don't my writing is actually not that Mm, I'm really not com not a confident I'm not really yeah confident about my writing too my writing I don't know if my writing mm. <laughs> it's understandable but if we have to criticize if it's good or bad probably bad but it's okay There is a thunderstorm coming tonight, so I hope nothing will happen. But if there's any uh, sudden shut off, sudden stop today, that means that all the electricity is gone. So I do have a battery for this computer for a few hours, but <clears throat> probably the internet will be completely gone. So. I never dreamed of me speaking English and introducing Sashiko. That that was really not my image when I had it in my childhood, when I was cleaning the school. Which is today's topic, which I did not talk for 30 minutes. <laughs> Apologize for that. I will talk about it. If there's any you know topic for me to cover, let me know. But, ah thunderstorm so in the Japanese public school most of the Japanese public school we have a time like a segment like a recess time together to clean the room we live we spend time we study at like a homeroom Home, home, home room class. Also, we clean the equi equipment every day. T um, table, chairs, you know, those blackboard. Those are the children's responsibility to clean. And when I was a kid, I didn't even think about that if it's option to not to do it because that was there it was our expectation everybody will have to do it unless you're kind of um how do you say those uh, out not outsider um not a dropout but some you know some 
difficult kids, <laughs> not difficult kids, but some bullying kids or some 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 kids skips those you know tiny tiny things, but mainly mostly most of the children have to go had to go through that cleaning time, and probably many of the Japanese people still go through that cleaning time because they. <laughs> I can still see those tweet on the Twitter that they have to bring the zokin, uh, the cleaning cloth to the school every the beginning of every semester. So they are still doing that, I believe. And one side of the discussion is that it's a very brilliant and great custom or culture ritual or practice to do so because kids can learn how to clean by themselves. And I think that's my understanding too. It's a very good thing that people we can understand it. At the same time, the another side, of, the other side of the discussion is that, well, you know, the kids are there to study, so why don't they focus on studying? It's not efficient to sp let them spend so much time in cleaning, and also it is taking somebody's job by forcing children's to clean also by cleaning by professional it's going to be more sanitized so you know there's always both ideas and i understand both sides um, but i believe that this custom is hugely based on the japanese buddhism uh, practice one of the most important thing in Buddhism, training for that matter, uh, not only practice but also training is to clean the temple they live or they train, they live for. And, you know, there's no religious force or religious requirement to be in public school like you know you don't have to be buddhism or you don't have to be christian or anything anybody can go to the public school in japan if they want to as long as they're japanese citizen i guess no any i think anybody can go there so but they do follow those old rituals based on the buddhism although they don't say it's a buddhism because it's not really you know any ceremony or ritual it's just based on the ritual <laughs> and that really uh, illustrate the value difference between the western and also let's say eastern from the Buddhist, buddhism value system so the today western and also many people think that the outcome is more important right the outcome, efficiency, productivity, what else? Um, efficiency, productivity, <laughs> what else? Oh, oh, cost performance, scale merit. So they can talk about um, those cleaning rituals as the way to sustain this society by offering somebody a job being more efficient being more productive so that everybody can benefit out of it it is not wrong but at the same time it can be wrong in one culture because without the ability to clean one's place it does not have the value there uh, for example I don't want to go to the temple which monk outsource cleaning to some professional cleaning companies that's really weird I don't want to say that they do not those those places do not exist there might be the Buddhist Buddhist temple which outsource the cleaning but it's very 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 weird for me it's not does not feel right because the, one of the most important thing in buddhism is to be able to clean so 
those rituals practice have stories around it and often it comes with whys so the japanese kids learn how to how to clean in school and we often end up with discussing discussing which is good or bad or is this good or bad and that's very normal to sort of discuss about it at the same time it is important to read or even imagine the stories behind that why and sashiko is the same too sashiko is very much the same too um, we try to focus on the result and we try to focus on something catchy um, right now is the, probably sustainability slow fashion sustainability is the key word for that and there's nothing wrong with it but we cannot ignore the fact that why we stitch and when we ignore those things and then start calling the word using the word sashiko then that's gonna be a little bit of issue not a little bit it's gonna be a big issue not knowing is fine but if they know it if they acknowledge it and then ignore it that's gonna be a very big problem so since we have a we live in a different culture we are you know different it is quite important to imagine the stories behind it but unfortunately we're not good at imagining at this age so that's why somebody gotta speak up and that's me now for sashiko so the first question was about mending and mending is the last choice i'm not saying i, I don't do any mending but there's a reason that you don't find a lot of mending on my videos because it's really not the first thing I do and it really all depends on the I used to try I once or twice tried to have the mending workshop because there was the demand so it was I tried and I am still thinking what is the best way to do it but it was very difficult because we have to listen to the public in order to follow this principle we have to listen to the public for what is the best for them so we don't want to force what is right for us to anything even public of course we don't want to force it to anybody else human but at the same time public we first think what is the goal what is the purpose what is the stories what is why behind our decision and then we decide what is the best for them or even it so And that's what I teach in the core in essence pretty much and yeah that's what I teach in the core in essence it might be exaggerating it but I am in core in essence I teach how to not do stitch you can be able you you will be able to the student will be able to do such good stitching as I do of course that's the, something I even guarantee for that but after all, I, what I teach is how to not to stitch. I, I know it's, it becomes kind of a f philosophical, but but that's the core. That's the core of Sashiko. So I teach that in my online class as well as the in-person workshop. Hello, welcome back. Has been a long time. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I probably will mess up your name, so, but I do remember you. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the class and coming back. I'll practice with you one day also. I agree that knowing the why is really important. It's integral to making an emotional connection with it. 
otherwise it's just the neat things that you you move on from after you visit it a bit yep so that's that kind of relate to the topic last in the last live session i don't want you to be just guest it is perfectly fine to be guest like you are here as a guest if you want to be just a guest here that's perfectly fine please be a guest and i want you to enjoy what sashiko is i want you to practice that as much as you can you don't have to you know you don't have to do anything you don't have to spend any tiny any pennies to practice sashiko you just listen you enjoy something but that's still that that, that is the stage of guest um in the equivalent of visiting japan and visiting those buddhist temple and you know following what the japanese people do as the rituals uh, probably sort of cover yourself with the smokes <laughs> write something was you know anything like those a lot of rituals we can follow in temple but those are still the guest experience i don't want to say entertainment but close to the entertainment more like for the guest and if when when i talk to the guest i know how to introduce what sashiko is i am not it's difficult but since i do not want you to be just a guest while you're here i would like to share what is behind the message the problem right now in sashiko is that those people who are still guests are teaching what sashiko is that's why it's very 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 skewed very very small segmented because they are still guests i mean i don't think they can be a host without speaking japanese or even going to Jap japan for that matter so it's really not the matter of how many years sashiko they can do or you know how much they can make sashiko it's more like how much commitment they have been doing for that and stitching you know stitching exists everywhere it does not only happen in japan so skill itself can be mastered by anybody and it does not have to be sashiko and the if they want to call it sashiko then i think the responsibility comes with it the fabric helen the fabric i am working on it i sorry the fabric i am working on is keeping the secret of where i left off two weeks ago <laughs> that's something i like about fabric though too they don't lie we people lies and we often feel betrayed uh, you know we change our mind the friend long established friend can be you know hating each other next day like any misunderstanding little tiny incident can make a significant unver like inver significant non-verbal a hidden hatred like we can go into fight without any understanding what's going on that's what we are like that's how we become i <laughs> i as like myself i think or you know more like instead of we that becomes i and because of that we tend to have a lot of fight and then we feel like i was betrayed um, probably they're feeling that they are, they were betrayed i did not think you were like that you know those are very 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 common things in this society as long as we're human we have to go through those things so it's it's not something we can you know avoid it but fabric doesn't lie i don't think it well some well bearing but if i if i finish stitching here today it will be here like this the next day when i wake up it will not change 
well, I mean, if my daughter plays with it, then it might go somewhere. But as long as she does not stitch, uh, it will be here. And if she decided to stitch after this, I will understand who stitched and how she stitched because the fabric, this doesn't really lie. And I kind of like that. I can all trace the stories. Uh, first, it does not change that often. Look, if I stopped here, it will be here tomorrow. Even 10 years from now, it will be here. I guess. Well, if... I don't think... I, I As much as I say that the spiritual things, like listen to the public, or talk to the needle, communication via the thread, although I, although I say those spiritual things or philosophical things, if I see needle moving by itself, I will probably go to hospital first before doing the live streaming. Like if I start seeing this needle moving by itself, that's a little different story. So yeah, I probably should go to hospital for that. So it, it will not be different. It does not lie. It does not fake. It's always what it is. So. I enjoy that. It's really not... It is always objective, it's not subjective, and therefore, it's kind of safe. I'm not saying I don't need a friend. <laughs> I'm not saying I hate people, I just feel much easier going on. And even if it's kind of a different outcome, if, if they... For example, if I pass it down to my next person, if the next person stitches, um, we can sort of trace back, not probably who specifically, but how is very easy to trace. We can imagine how it would be, and that's what the borough is all about. We can trace back how they lived, and we can appreciate their hard work to pass it down the fabric until today and then we can add the stitching to make the fabric more usable so it's not really the art or it's not the colorful patchworks it's the way to communicate to somebody else via fabric that's what the borrow is ultimately to me I mean, if I define borrow as the communication, nobody will understand it without this kind of stories. So I won't say that. But if I have to define what borrow is strongly, that's gonna be my definition. And, you know, that's not something, ex ex that's not something introduced in English right now about Sashiko borrow. Oh, that reminds me, I finished the mending on my leggings I did, and then after I was done, realized there was another huge hole, and I wasn't done after all. <laughs> what was your <laughs> Wow, yeah. I think that's why I like watching Abby Cox and Nicole Rudolph unboxing the garment. They looked at these garments, and they can see how they work constructed and what order and if they were mended and how it was done they can see all the alternation and they can tell yeah 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 so that's based on the more like fashion right what i'm doing is pretty much explaining without technical perspective because there's no such a thing as technical perspective in just stitching i'm just stitching but i can't they, 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 there's not that much technical perspective it does not mean that they are it does not mean that it's shallow there are as many stories as we can think of many many people many many hours of hours many many hours of time of stitching so it's not as easy as seeing the patterns or design but every time I share those stories I hope that you can imagine how the Japanese people lived while stitching and that that makes your stitching sashiko not the design not the patterns not the result not the even stitches it's just 
you know, how to be friend with the Japanese people today as well as who lived in hundreds of years ago. And I think that's more than what is introduced in See, the reason I'm kind of, not a frustrated, but the reason I have to always go through the lot of labor is that that's not something we can find right now. And by, by following this logic, there's no such a thing as Sashiko Master. Uh, some people call me Sashiko Master, you know, the organizer often call me Sashiko Master because that's very... Um, that's a better marketing term, so I'm not going to really say anything about it, but if I start calling myself Sashiko Master, please let me know. Well, I may have written somewhere, but if I start saying, introducing myself Sashiko Master in Sashiko live streaming or even the in-person workshop, you can question me, like, what happened? <laughs> I will answer that. Well, something must have happened. I do not consider that. Nobody can be a Sashiko master for that matter. Because there's nothing to master. Or there's too much to, too many to master. It's both. And this kind of story can be very difficult for some people to listen. And that's why I think I'm in big trouble. Not <laughs> big trouble, but I have a lot of ah uh, sort of haters for that i'm like what i say is not easy though because i'm not giving any answers i'm asking them to think instead of just follow and this is the f country of nation of freedom so everybody wants to do whatever they want that's what they say but they want to follow the answers I don't understand that. They say they, they want to do whatever they want, but they need answers. Huh? Hmm? No, no, I think they, they want to have the answers they would like to have. And in order to, get what the, in order to get the answers they want, they can do whatever they want. So it's kind of vice versa. It's, it's, it's very confusing, but... That's the country I'm living right now. So I will follow that when I live about outside of Sashiko. But when it comes to Sashiko, it's not. It's still, I think, in Japanese culture. So. Hello, hello. So today's topic was that children's school chill there the Japanese children in school do the cleaning every day and why do they do it and what is the story behind it and that's gonna really explain what Sashiko is as well Any other topics? <laughs> I mean, if you're watching this as an archive, please leave the comments after the live streaming what I could have talked about it so I can talk about it in the next live streaming. I will not go over time today. <laughs> I usually go over time. Not by a lot, but today I would like to make sure to finish it around one o'clock no not one o'clock one hour period <coughs> sorry <coughs> mm. it's, it's extremely hot right now so my house doesn't have an AC downstairs, 
like where I work right now, like not a work, where I stay with a bunch of fabric and thread. There is no AC. We have AC for my daughter's room and also living room. And I think it's going on strongly, but. And one 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 reason what one reason that I kind of <laughs> do not do the Instagram live streaming is that um this room is too hot over summer and it stopped the cell phone stopped working stopped working several times during the live streaming and if that's hot the YouTube does not. I use the computer for this, so computer can't cool themselves much better. What lengths of string do you typically start with? That uh, depends. Shorter the better. That's what I don't want to say every, but pretty much every sashiko artisan say that the shorter the better. Uh, the Sashiko stitches, or actually any stitches for that matter, who, well, probably Sashiko stitches. Mm, I think many, look, I don't, I don't want to talk on behalf of the other Sashiko, I mean, on behalf of other Japanese stitchery, but in Sashiko artisans, they said that the, the uh, Sashiko artisans with poor skill prefer the longer thread. Heta no yoko. Heta no nagai to. So, shorter the better is sort of the answer. I do have my own sort of the preference, but I really don't share that because that people understand as answer, and that kind of requires more explanation. But shorter the better. That's the answer. For well, Western embroidery, I was told that you should use your arm length to avoid overextending your arm range. Stitch. Yep, that's one good length. It really depends on the sashiko thread you use. Um, if you use the our thread, if you use our thread from our website, um email me that i can answer the question like i have a question about this thread what is the length we should use i really don't want to create any misunderstanding one of the scary things is that if i say something that becomes the answer that's really scary it is answer for me, and it is answer the answer for those who stitch under the same condition as I do. The same thimble, same needle, same thread, ideally same fabric. And that's my answer is the answer, or the best for that matter. But that condition can be easily changed by their choice, and that's really not the always the best. It's like, you know. Mm. Well, I cannot think of any good analogy for that. Yuki! Oh, it's been one hour, just one hour. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired today, as always. Not as always. Thursday is little. tiring time for me but at the same time there's no other time that I can do so all there's almost every Thursday night I'll be here and I'll be stitching um, I have not really updated updated I have not been updated updating the Instagram because because of some incident it, there's no significant things but the, the layer of those things like accumulation of those small things uh exhausted me so i took some time off 
I do not want to spend whole hour, you know, complaining about those things. So, I usually bring some topics to discuss. I don't really, I do not want to end up this whole hour just complaining. So, that's not my intention. And then I tried to tell people to experiment and show them how to do that to figure out what will work for them. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm encountering that issue in preparing material for my sewing class. Because the answer doesn't depend on the person, so... I have like, there are some options. Yeah, so... It's really interesting, some people can really teach the answers without considering the, their environment. I mean, of course I teach the answers when I teach. Because I ask them to have exactly same, well, not exact, well, exactly same condition, exactly same environment. So, you know, it's it's I can take responsibility for that. But when I kind of answer the questions over this kind of live streaming, I do really not know the you know environment you're using, so my answer can be wrong. And that, you know, that that's really much um, neglecting my responsibility. I like long thread and long needle. Well, 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 it's okay. That's, that's what the other, that's what the, you know, old people said. Long needles, yeah. See, in my class, I tell people about long needle because the longer the needle, the better for people who can't hold small needles well. So I have a section to talking about to pick needles based on what you're doing and what you... That That's... Probably I take completely opposite approach. Not I. We take completely opposite op approach. We only recommend one thread. No, I'm sorry. One needle. One size needle. That very, very, very specific size reached after many, many years of experience. So that everybody can get the form. Um, when we experience something completely new, we tend to excuse us trying by saying, I cannot do it because of A or B or C, because the needle is too big, too small, too short. You know, there, there are many reasons we can justify the fact that we cannot do. And we, as a teacher, as the, somebody who passed down the culture, um, we needed to take that excuses out so that they can go through the suffering, for that matter, little bit of suffering and then they can get the form in order to get a new form it's very 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 important to go through uh, un installing the muscle memory and it's not easy it's really not comfortable for that matter too so we very much specify what to use in learning the first step because after you know completing the form they can do whatever they want, to be honest. They can use what they want and, you know, it does not have to be that. But learning the form is very, very important in learning some cultures. And before learning the form, I don't want them to blame the tool or blame the materials for their inability to do so. And I think the teacher is there for that teacher is not for me teacher is not the person to give the their definition to shut the others up teacher is those who stand next to you to navigate you to be able to find your own answer and i'm trying my best to be one of those <clears throat> Oh, don't don't worry, don't worry about that. Don't worry about asking the question. If you have purchased, um, 
something from like thread from my website uh, just kindly email me please so i can do i have that probably i do have a website and a youtube video for that <laughs> so you can of course search for that but I, at the same time i can just you know paste the link and there are tons of materials tons of answers already here so if you are new don't worry about it just keep watching the videos you will probably find most of the answers for the, most of the questions and if i do not answer the questions that means that i have already mentioned somewhere if i receive the questions that i have not answered yet i usually answer thoroughly why did you start with two vertical lines then stitch diagonal on um, i don't know i don't know there's no reasons like it's the same question as like why did you start eating the pizza from the left side why did you start eating the dinner with the french fries rather than the burger why did you pick the salmon roll instead of the godzilla roll it's just actually there's not reason actually wow i'm sorry that's a very good point i always said that there's always stories behind what i do there is no story what i'm doing right now why did i pick the two lines diagonal because i felt like it <laughs> wow that thank you that's a very good point they, well because i felt like it is a very much the story and because it's the most efficient way for me to do it i didn't even think about it but wow but it's too ordinary for me to even think so like which side of the tooth teeth do you brush start brushing today well <laughs> I learned from Atsushi Sensei <laughs> you don't have to call me Sensei that thread should not be too long you know, you know, I mean, you know we all know I even teach that thread shouldn't be too long but my threads are kind of too long as you can tell it shouldn't be this long but again It's our choice. But yes, yeah, thread should be shorter, much shorter. <laughs> the middle, <laughs> the middle teeth, well, which middle? So, <laughs> you know, there's not that much reason, right? There's not that much reason wh which teeth you start brushing from same here like why did you start with the diagonal why did you start with the horizontal Ooh, that's because what makes me easy i mean there's nothing wrong with starting from somewhere else but well actually there are reasons there are stories but it's going to be quite long And I don't want to be really, you know, kind of stingy, but it's one of the most important thing in the workshop. So I don't want to kind of spoil, sp I don't want to do any spoiler alert to anybody who might take the workshop in the future. It's not, it's not something very shocking. It's not really something eye-opening, but there, there are reasons. I don't have the specific reasons, but there are stories why we do this sorry it's really probably that's probably the main question one of the big question like because when we focus on how it looks as the result we have to you know think about where to stitch 
I really do not focus on where I'm stretching at right now because this is part of the hundred meters of this asana pattern. I repeat, hundred meters. I'm stupid enough to declare that I will be stretching hundred meters of this pattern. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I... Oy vey. But because of that sort of, you know, promise to myself, promise to them, It's really not a project to think about how result looks like. It is important that you know result should be beautiful, but a bit too much to focus on one stitch or one pattern in one hundred meter. It's if it's like hundred centimeter, that's a completely different story. This is about one hundred centimeter right now, so it's you know I probably can do more efficiently but okay so ten ten thank you so much for coming to the live streaming as always Thursday night I hope you have a good evening and then toward the weekend the world is becoming another scary place with a lot of the economy might economy might go down that bit not even a bit might be significantly go down I mean you know FRB's interest rate today was a little bit scary and you know things can be more difficult than well, it was very difficult last few years, so it, it's gonna be probably not gonna be more difficult than before. But I hope everybody can look up, heads up, and then find something. I don't like a fake positivity. I don't really like the fake positivity, but I hope you can find something bright in your days. So um, if you can click on the good button, that'd be really much helpful for my channel to be healthy I still do have those troll trolls I call them a big fan because they come here um, before anybody actually for that matter um, but anyway I'll be coming back next Thursday as always and yep this june july i think i am all available on thursday night so i'll be coming back on every thursday night and i hope you will have a good weekend uh, if you have any questions about sashiko leave the comments if you're watching this in the archives please leave the comment i will come back and talk about it lastly um i do have the in-person workshop in new york area sorry the announcement um this is about the first time in two almost three years i canceled the last workshop in new york city in 2020 march because of the you know pandemic and we are now restarting that with the same place in july 9th and 10th um, i've heard that the seats are quite limited may be gone by now so i'm sorry if it's sold out if when you reach but the description area has the uh, links for that and i'll be in berkeley for longer time and this is the first time i teach in the west coast i believe yes it is the first time i even visit the west coast so um i am very much looking forward to sharing the sashiko you know, west side of the west, west, west coast has more pop popular pop, uh, population for the sashiko. So, I'm, I'm it's really much interesting that not interested, excited about it. And that's gonna be July twenty third and twenty sixth, including one Sunday for the trunk show pop up store, or even like a panel discussion. I don't remember what I'm gonna be doing, but I'll be there in Berkeley. Okay. Thank you so much for coming and I hope you have a good evening, good night and good day for the um, people over the 